smart hello to everyone welcome on a course on vba excel programming which has been done under bi-analytics.org and i am your trainer saurabh jain so today we are starting a tutorial number 11 and we'll be talking about message box and input box as we have started programming we have entered into tutorial number 11 and hope you all have done till tutorial number 10 it is important as now we are stepping towards programming our level of programming will increase so let's start this video let's understand in any process in any program this is a input output process where there is one input we talk about there is a program logic and then we have a output so imagine you have to calculate a income tax based on the income fine so see income is a input i need to know income if for with what income for how much income i have to give tax so input is income and maybe tax rate can also be a input ki based on that now you have a program which calculates with apply formulas and do something and output is this much tax you have to pay so in any program there will be input and there will be output right so now when we talk about excel we can take input from excel worksheet say data may be in the cell a1 b1 c1 and we can give output to excel worksheet by pressing the answer in say any cell so this was from input now we can also take input from user that is run time when we run the program computer ask you some give me the input and that is called user input <coughs> so same way we can give output to user also in front of message boxes so in this today tutorial we learn how to give input how to take input from user and give output to user so that is the objective of this video tutorial let's start let's try to understand one formulas from excel to excel we have a variable quantity which is equals to range a1 dot value which means variable is quantity and it has been read the value from the range a1 so we have put the value of a1 into quantity so that is input from excel now we say rate is equals to range b1 dot value which means we have taken the value of b1 cell into rate so which is again a input from excel now we say sales value is equals to quantity multiplied by rate so we say this is the process that we have calculated something now we say range c1 dot value is equal to so sales value it means the value of sales value has been put into c1 so which means output has been put into excel so from excel to excel this was something now what we need to do is we need to take input from user so there is a special command which is called input box fine so input box will store the value in variable okay we always say that uh, right side value go into left side fine so let's say this is a value variable my value is equals to input box give me some input so what does means that we have to use input box and this is a prompt we have to give to the user ki please tell your income please tell your name whatever we want to print that will be given into input box this is called prompt when we talk about our formulas input box prompt there is a title default expos y position helpline context there are few optional parameters also right now we are not going into this we'll touch it again but objective is that if we say give me some input it will be input title can be changed default value can be changed so these are the things square brackets are called optional one fine so let's try to understand how we will use the input let me open the excel now we are to develop a tab vba i'll open insert module fine now we have option explicit hope you all know because option explicit helps you to make sure that all your variables are declared we have touched in the last week so now let's say sub input underscore example fine so this is our sub
now now what we need to do is say i take a quantity and rate two variables dim quantity as integer fine i can take dim rate as double O I N I N instead of M, then rate as double. Fine. So now we want to ask user the quantity. Fine. So that will be stored in quantity variable. So I say quantity is equals to now listen input box. Fine. Bracket open. Now we will write in inverted comma what we want to say. We say please. Tell the quantity. Inverted commas close and bracket. Whatever we type in inverted comma, it goes as it is. Fine. Enter. So this is our program. Let's run this program. So you have please tell the quantity and say if I enter thirty four, enter. program finish because we have not done anything right now so this is the way input box works fine if we can also say comma say it says to you title so i can in in inverted comma write welcome let's see what happens i will rerun this program run so this welcome comes in the title box like this so it doesn't matter much you can change the title but by default it was microsoft right now it is please tell the quantity so i can again add 34 so this was like this fine okay now we need to write another program we need to put another input box say rate Is equals to again input box i n p u two b o x input box bracket open. Please tell rate bracket close. Fine. Okay. Now I will do take another variable say sales value. Dim s a l e s sales value as Double. Now, I put it. Sales value is equals to quantity into rate. So this is my answer. Now, for the timing, what I do is let put the answer into the B one cell range. B1 dot value is equals to sales quantity. Fine. So this we have done. Now let's run this program. See what happens. Run. look this is the use of our option explicit i use the wrong variable it has to be sales value fine let's do it again run reset run run so it ask me the quantity say i said 10 fine it ask me rate i say 100 so outcome should come 1000 okay let's see the outcome output comes Here comes our output thousand. Fine. So this was done. What we have done is we had taken input from user and put it into Excel. Fine. 
So this has been done. So we all know how to use input box. We will say variable is equals to input box and some message. Fine. This will solve our purpose for the time being. Okay. Now we need to learn how to give user to the message. So it is like MSG BUX message box. Hello. Button is optional and title. So whatever we want to give message box, we'll write over here. When it is text, it has to be in inverted commas. And when it has to be variable, it has to be without an inverted comma. We'll talk later on. But objective is, you know, no MSG BOX message box we will be using. And we'll be putting output into the user. Let's do this now. So what I'll do is now, instead of this range B1, I want to put in message box. Fine. So I say msg message box space. Now I can put sales value. Nothing else. Fine. For the timing. Message box sales value. Let's run this program. Run. So it asked me please tell the quantity. I say 23. Okay. It tell me please tell the rate. I say 45. Okay. And here comes your output like this. Fine. Hope you are able to understand. So this is message box. Okay. Let's do it again. Run. Please tell the quantity. 20. Please tell rate. 45. Here comes your answer 900. Fine. So what we have done is we have put the answer 900. But suppose you want to say please pay 900. So how you will do? Let's do it. Then I'll tell you the logics later on. So I want to say, please tell, please pay 900. So I say inverted comma, P L E S E, please, P A Y pay. Now I use M percent like this. So it will be like, please pay sales value. But look, there is no space. So what will happen? Let's run this program. Run. I say 30, please tell rate. 34. Here comes our answer. Please pay like this. But look, there is no space. So what we can do is we can write space either by putting extra space over here or we can write another end and put a blank space and end like this. So like this. I will tell you details in next slide. What I want to do is please pay M percent space M percent sales value. M percent is used to connect between variables. So this is how we have done. Fine. Okay. So you understand message box and input box, both the things. Okay. Now some important rules for prompt and messages. So use ampersand to join or concatenate. Whenever we have to add two things, we will put ampersand into between it. Just now we did. Text is put within inverted commas. So whatever you put in inverted commas, it is printed at it as it is. Fine. Whatever you, you print. If you will print sales value in inverted commas, it will print sales value. It will not print the value of sales value. Fine. So whatever has been put in inverted commas, it will be print as it is. Remember the logic. Don't put the value. Whatever is in inverted commas will be put as it is. Fine. Variables to be placed as it is without inverted commas. So whenever we want to put value of variable, we will not use inverted commas. Fine. Use VBLF for line feed, which means if you want to enter, you want to display output in two lines, we will use VBLF and VB tab for some space. And inverted comma blank space for blank space. Yes, we did. When we want to give some blank space. Fine. So let's see these rules again. And let's do it again. So message box, please pay M percent M percent sales value. Say I also want to write welcome. So see what I'll do is message box. Welcome space and one M percent. Fine. So now when I run this program. Please enter quantity 34, 34, you have welcome, please pay. 
now what i want is i want welcome in first line and please play in second line so we will use vblf which is a keyword vblf fine so what i'll say welcome now i add m percent now i say vblf it has to be without the inverted commas fine so vblf is like a next line so i say run now see the logic 45 enter 45 acha see this is microsoft excel so if you want to title out you can write title also i will tell you how to write title okay 45 45 i now say okay so see welcome please pay this because we have done welcome enter vblf please pay like this so here comes our answer fine now if you want to change this also so you can say comma now it ask me of various type of buttons if i say vb critical it will give you a cross right matlab there are various type of buttons you can change the shape of this message box buttons like you have c so you have various type vb critical so they are just the look of look and feel how button look like by default it is vb okay button fine so you can just blank this leave blank now you can say hello so when you write title in hello you can take the help from here also now when you run this program now it will not use microsoft excel please enter i say 34 now 34 i'll tell you why microsoft excel comes in the output it comes hello because i have changed for microsoft excel fine so there comes hello as a title generally we don't think of much of title it is like a for developers but our objective is to learn the coding what we want to do it fine okay so let's see this code again look in quantity i wrote the title as a welcome but in rate i did not write a title so because i did not write title it showed by default microsoft excel sales value like this so hope you are able to use now input box and message box it's very simple quantity is equals to input box please tell the quantity whatever you enter into the value it will go into quantity fine rate again and then message box the value fine hope you are able to understand so now we can take input from excel and put user output so now we have combination like we can take input from user or input for excel or we can give output to user or output to excel now we can make any combination say i read the input from excel and give output to user or what i can say i can take input from user and give output to excel or i can take input from user and give output to user so there are four combinations you can decide what you want to do this is just the starting of the programming we'll do now lots of things that will give when we learn if else programming loops then it will be a huge fun you will get a power of doing all these things okay now after these rules i'll repeat use m percent to join or concatenate text is put with inverted commas variables to be placed without inverted commas use vblf vb tab vb tab is like a small tab space fine and inverted commas blank space fine so this is input box and message box now what i want you is i have a assignment for you okay read it again first of all name input enter name and message box welcome m percent name and vblf how are you so what you will say you have taken the user say input he please tell me your name now it will show you welcome saurabh how are you so welcome saurabh will come in one line and how are you welcome in second line hope you are able to understand fine name is equals to try to uh, do this program example it by your hands so you will able to understand message box better now i have a assignment for you you have to convert celsius to fahrenheit what you need to do is you have to take you have to ask user please tell the temperature in celsius fine and tell me and then you will tell the user the converted value of celsius is this much fahrenheit fine formula is temperature of fahrenheit is equals to temperature of celsius into 9 by 5 plus 30 make sure to use apply brackets so you can 
do the calculation correct fine you can also google to see your conversion answers but try to do this formula and when's done please write in the comment i have done my assignment then only i'll be able to know how many people have done assignment i have seen people watching the videos but they are not replying and commenting okay so another one calculate tax this is assignment number 2 uh, assume you have a flat 15% tax rate fine so please ask user to input the income ask him what is the income which income you want to calculate for a tax then give the message you have to pay this much tax fine hope you are able to do it so if you find any difficulties please ask on the forums in the website we have topic discussion topics in bi-nnh.org when you join the club you have this option to ask for discussion or you can also write in the comments no problems but please do the assignments whatever done whatever we have done today in this tutorial please make sure to do with your hands then you will be able to, now you can start doing some your program say you can say uh, take three numbers and calculate average for a I mean simple logical programs then we'll talk about mathematical and financial logics later on fine now i have a request hope you all have joined bi-analytics.org i want please ask all your friends to join it because then only it will be fun the more enrollments in the course more learning it look it is a free course i am not charging anything so it's not easy for me to promote to say pay facebook ads why should i pay to for facebook ads fine so if you can speak for me that will be a great learning for me fine so look forward to your next tutorial hope you have enjoyed it and yes please tell in the comments from where from which city are you watching this video thank you very much